In the 1930s, the jackrabbit population exploded in western Kansas. There was an estimated 8 million jackrabbits between the years of 1934 and 1935. Crops and grass were sparse in the 1930s because of the Dust Bowl. Jackrabbits would come in and eat all of the green plants. This included all the crops the farmers were trying to grow and the pastures the cows were grazing on. The jackrabbits were causing destruction on western Kansas farms. These jackrabbits were often nicknamed Hoover Hogs after President Hoover, who was often blamed for the Great Depression. Lifelong Kansas resident Camilla Cave remembers the jackrabbits. It was just almost unbelievable, the number of jackrabbits we had at that time. They really were dangerous so far as getting rid of any green there was. After that have eaten the vegetation above the ground, they dig down and eat the roots. Farmers in western Kansas felt that these rabbits needed to be eliminated. They began jackrabbit drives. Every Sunday afternoon, the people of western Kansas would gather in their communities and capture the jackrabbits. The men, women, and children would gather in a circular way to drive all the jackrabbits into a pen. The jackrabbits would then be slaughtered. Jackrabbits would be used as food for people, feed for chickens, skinned and sold the fur, or transported to other states that had a small jackrabbit population. Camilla Cave remembers how the jackrabbit drives took place. Deep poles were set out covering an area of 40 acres in the center of 16 to 20 sections of land. That's about 8,000 to 16,000 acres. Then a wire fence was put around it. People were lined up on the outskirts of that land, all the way around it. There weren't any guns allowed, just clubs of all kinds, smooth clubs, rough clubs, anything you picked up. The residents gathered on horses and in cars and on foot to drive the rabbits through the fields and into a large holding pen. And there they were slaughtered, and they were handed out, some to participants who took them home for dinner, or were loaded and skinned and the skins were sold. Now, eastern Kansans did not have the jackrabbit problem like the western Kansans did. They had very few jackrabbits, so there was no need for jackrabbit drives. When people in eastern Kansas heard about the jackrabbit drives, they were extremely upset. They critiqued the western Kansans. They felt that the Western Kansans were being silly and inhumane for killing thousands of jackrabbits. Many Eastern Kansans thought that they were hunting these rabbits out of sport and not out of population control. Now take a moment and think. If you were a Western Kansan during the 1930s, how would you respond to the critiques of the people from Eastern Kansas? Or if you were an Eastern Kansan, What other solutions would you offer for the jackrabbit problem rather than the jackrabbit drives?